I've got my primer on, I've got my foundation on, and now I'm going to do my concealer. There are lots of different types of concealers. Main ones are light reflective, which the, this is what I'm going to use now. These are really good for underneath the eyes or anywhere that's shadowy. This is a Clinique one. It's a Clinique airbrush concealer. It's much thinner than normal concealers, so it's really, really good for using under the eyes because it's not going to get stuck in any little laughter lines. It's also really good for using around the nose or anywhere else that you have shadowy areas. Now, when you're doing underneath your eyes, really look straight ahead into the mirror and just apply it exactly where you're dark. So start to really dab it into those areas. Don't put it anywhere else. If you put it where you're light already, it's not gonna work. So for it to be really, really effective, you just want to have it where you're actually dark. Now the areas where people are dark, it's different from person to person because it's really a genetic thing. It's to do with the shape of your face, the shape of the area underneath your eyes. For example, if you're really puffy under the eyes, you tend to be darker, a bit lower down and have more of a sort of semi-circle. If you're a bit flatter on the eye, underneath the eyes, you tend to be darker really in the corners. So just put it where you need to. And then use either a brush or fingers to blend in. It's a mixture of patting, but it's also blending. So you're patting and you're blending the edges away at the same time. And it's better to build up thoughtfully so putting it where you need it and keep stepping back then just to go in and put it on all over the place which never ever works and tends to look quite odd so just start to really build up underneath just where you know you're dark and you can put quite a bit on in the areas where you're dark it's almost like you kind of cheating those areas light so put on quite a bit there and keep checking in the mirror now you can always go back to this at any time during the makeup so when you've done all of your face and you're almost ready to go out the door you can always check and if you're looking dark under underneath your eyes you can always go back in and just add a little bit more and just freshen up. Okay, the next kind of concealer are the more opaque concealers. Now these come either as sticks or you can buy them as compacts or something like, this is a selection of stick foundations that have been put into a palette. These are really good because stick foundation has a lot of pigment in it so it works almost like a concealer anyway. And if you use it in a very concentrated way, it tends to cover floors. Now, getting the color right is so important in the same way as it is with under the eyes. You know, you don't want to use anything that's too light and looks really ashy because it'll look almost as bad as having dark shadows underneath there. Same when you're covering spots. If you use the wrong color of concealer, you're going to see the the sort of area around it, it's going to look lighter or if it looks darker and sometimes that can be even more eye-catching than the original blemish so really think about getting exactly the right colour for that reason things like palettes, I mean this is a, I don't know if this exists anymore, this is a Bobbi Brown one, I don't know if they sell it anymore but you can buy these in professional makeup shops, different makes obviously but that kind of thing where you get lots of different shades or even with these Laura Mercier ones, at least you've got two so you can use the lighter one when your skin's lighter, the darker one in the summer, and then mix for the rest of the year. So I'd say minimum two shades of this type of concealer is best. Now you can use either a larger brush, which is really good if you're doing large areas of concealing. So if you've got areas of pigmentation or you have red patches, often when you're red on your cheeks, you get red patches down here by the jaw. So for large areas like that, either fingers works well or a brush. So I'm just going to use this brush just on a few areas where I need some concealing on my chin. Well, there's a little bit of redness. 
and just really go over any larger areas and really make sure that you blend those edges away seamlessly so you, no one can really tell that you've got a heavier coverage in certain areas it just looks completely natural all over and don't forget if you've got any little blemishes on your neck or you know even if you're wearing something sleeveless or backless you know if you have any little blemishes you can use concealer just to get rid of them now once you've done the larger areas you can use a tiny thin brush like this this is a, an eyeliner brush this is a bare essentials it's id bare essentials this is really good for pinpoint concealing and that's for blemishes or anything small that really you know sort of stands out and again make sure you've got the right color and then you just want to sort of stipple so for me i've got a couple of dark marks and you can just pat with fingers and just make sure that you're really blending those edges away if you're doing this type of concealing and this is great for actual spots and things and it's a little bit like retouching your skin it's a, like, a bit like photoshopping yourself and that's when concealer really works so well it certainly is something that all makeup artists do and it's the thing that really makes your makeup look so much more professional because you're going to have that completely flawless skin without having to have a heavy base on but everything looks completely perfect and flawless so just go through and really any little marks or blemishes that you want to get rid of just stipple the colour that's lots of little dots and then with fingers you can just pat into place and if you've chosen the right shade it should completely blend in with the surrounding skin just at the corner of the eyes that's a great one for lifting you can also use concealer if you're going to be using quite a strong lip color next you can always just put a little bit around i'll use a bigger brush for that around the edges of the lips just means that you've got a nice crisp edge there on which to build your bright lip or whatever you're doing and then just step back and if there's anything that's standing out blemish wise well, it depends how much time you've got obviously if it's a really special occasion and you want to look completely flawless you could go around and do every little mark otherwise a little bit of concealing is, is always good and that's how to use concealer